This exercise is called standing wall clock. The purpose of this exercise is to eliminate elbow pain. Oftentimes elbow pain is caused by a shoulder problem. When your shoulder joint is out of alignment or not functioning properly, oftentimes you can feel the pain or the symptom all the way down in the elbow. So the first thing that I want to show you about standing wall clock is the position of your hands. It's called the golfer's grip position. I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. With your palm open, you're going to just bend really tightly right at that second knuckle so that your fingers are pressed tightly into the palm of your hands with your thumbs out. That's the golfer's grip position. That's how you want your hands throughout this exercise. Trish is going to help me to demonstrate standing wall clock. Go ahead and stand up against the wall, Trish. You want to start with your big toes touching and your heels apart. So you're going to put yourself in that pigeon toe stance. You want to lock out your, your legs and tighten your thighs and just let your stomach relax. You're going to extend your arms straight up overhead with your hands in the golfer's grip position. And you're going to rotate externally at the shoulder joint so that your thumbs start to come away from the wall. So depending on how much external rotation you're able to get in your shoulder joint, your thumbs and your hands may or may not move that much. So once you get into that externally rotated position, rotating from the shoulder joint, good Trish, you just want to hold this position here for one minute. Make sure that your elbows stay locked out straight. All right, now let's pretend the whole minute had gone by. You're going to bring your arms out to 45 degrees. Starting with your palms again facing the wall, elbows are locked out straight, and then rotate from the shoulder joint to bring those thumbs away from the wall. Now, Trish is a great example for this exercise because Trish does a lot of typing at a computer and she has a lot of tightness through her shoulders and her upper back. So you can see that Trish is having to work pretty hard to get, your, to get her thumbs to move away from the wall, but it's, what she's doing is perfect because she's not rotating from the wrist or the elbow like that. So instead, all of the, all of the rotation, all of the movement is coming from the shoulder joint, which is exactly what you want. After you hold one minute at 45 degrees there, you're going to bring your arms all the way down right straight in line with your shoulders. And you're going to do the same thing here, rotate externally from the shoulder joint and hold that position for one minute. The whole time you're keeping your thighs tight and your stomach relaxed. Go ahead and relax, Trish. Great job. It's not an easy exercise, is it? No. <laughs> All right, so what we did here was, why don't you just stand to the side, Trish? was we helped to promote external rotation at that shoulder joint and extension through that thoracic spine. So someone like Trish, who's spending a lot of time typing at the computer, show us how you look when you type at the computer. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. This is a great exercise to help eliminate some of that dysfunction through that thoracic spine and the shoulder joint. And if you're having elbow problems, your elbow will most likely start to feel a whole lot better once you start to correct some of those alignment issues. So let me know if you have any questions. Have fun with standing wall clock.